is a big one, and I think a lot of us are aware of it at this point. October is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And if you didn't know, metastatic breast cancer is one of the diseases treated at Austin CyberKnife. So we've got Dr. Kirsten Warho, board certified radiation oncologist at Austin CyberKnife on the line. Good morning to you, Dr. Warho. Good morning. Let's talk first and foremost about what metastatic breast cancer is, doctor, because I know what breast cancer is, but that first word seems pretty scientific to me. Metastatic breast cancer uh, would be a breast tumor that uh, spreads through either the lymphatic or blood circulation to uh, lymph nodes throughout the body or to other organs. Let's talk about the most concerning areas that we start to see metastatic breast cancer cells spread to. What are the areas that we should be watching for? The most common areas uh, for metastatic breast cancer to, to appear would be bone, uh, liver, lung, and brain. Okay, and I know that CyberKnife treats metastatic breast cancer, so let's talk a little bit this morning about what CyberKnife actually is, because we have you guys on about once per month, but I always love talking about this, because to me, it is cutting-edge science, and it's really, really different. We are very lucky to have the CyberKnife in this area. It is actually a radiation delivery system, so it is a surgical alternative, but it is painless and non-invasive usually delivered over a very quick time frame in an outpatient setting. The equipment is phenomenal. It's highly precise, target smaller tumors, primary or metastatic tumors with um, high accuracy and uh, limit the dose of radiation to surrounding normal tissues, which then limits side effects. For people who've been through a more traditional route, those side effects can really be debilitating. So that's really nice to hear. Let's talk about how often CyberKnife is used for treating metastatic breast cancer. Is this something you guys do pretty commonly? We treat a lot of metastatic lesions. The CyberKnife has a targeting ability so that it can actually see the tumor, follow tumor movement as it's treating, move with the tumor. And I know that you've already touched on a lot of the benefits of CyberKnife, but just a couple more in, uh, in case people are, are starting to think about this, maybe something they hadn't ever considered before, especially when it comes to the outpatient side of things, right? As far as scheduling with CyberKnife and getting procedures done, this is a pretty quick experience. So it is done in an outpatient setting. There is no uh, pre-medication involved or no incisions, a total of one to five treatments. Each one is about 45 minutes long. So if you have any questions that you have a tumor that could be applicable for this technology, it would be a good thing to ask your, uh, your primary care or your referring doctor. The data that's coming out now uh, shows that it's becoming more widespread in terms of treatment for smaller tumors as well as metastatic lesions. So we are using it more and more. It's approved for more and more applications. It's definitely much more convenient for the patient and side effect profiles are improved. And the fact that you can drive yourself to and from those treatments and the fact that they are so outpatient and painless, some really great positives here. And lastly, doctor, you guys are continuing to try and keep people as safe as possible while treating them during the pandemic. Can you talk to us a little bit about how things have changed for y'all and uh, how you're approaching treating people now? We are following um, all of the public health guidelines. We temperature screen the patients and the staff. Masking is required. Provide hand and face or eye protection for our staff and uh, patients if they so desire. We're doing frequent sanitization, wipe downs of all the uh, patient occupied spaces, treatment rooms, exam rooms, waiting rooms. And then we are also doing telemedicine when we can for patients who are not under active treatment, but who um, are under follow-up or uh, even patients who are just needing to consider whether their situation is applicable for CyberKnife, we can do a consultation with telemedicine so that they don't have to come into our clinic. I love that you guys have adopted telemedicine uh, and the fact that you're still able to treat people actively at this time at your uh, clinic. Doctor, I want to let you get back to your patients. I know you've got a busy schedule ahead, so thank you so much for taking the time with us today. We really appreciate it. Happy to do it. Austin CyberKnife is located on I-35 near the Dell Seton Medical Center at the University of Texas. Call them at 512-324-8060 or go to austincyberknife.com for more info.